hello guys welcome back to my channel so the last update about this is fate Brita kidnapped Pritfi, rendered him unconscious and kept him in a room then Brita gives a speech during the party in order to win the project for the Ludras instead of for Pritfi. so let's continue from there Raki requests Janki to forgive her Janki asks that why is Raki apologizing because when Karan and Prita got married it was instead the two families which got married and she knows that when there are utensils which are together, then they create a sound. And she feels that these problems cannot harm the family, but that their relationship should not be filled with hatred. Janki says that she cannot say anything about Prita, but she is always on the side of Raki, as they are a family. Both of them hug each other, and Karina walk past the kitchen. She gets really furious. Karan while walking asks Kritika if she has seen Prita, because he was not able to find her. Kritika says that she has not seen Prita. Karan says that everyone in the party is asking about Prita, but Prita is now nowhere to be seen. Kritika asks that what has happened, as Karan went to bring Prita back from the police station. Kritika says that this means that Prita has also made a fool of Karan. Karan wants Kritika not to taunt him since he went to the police station, but they informed him how they have not sent anyone to arrest Prita, and he feels that this was a plan of Prithvi and Nagre. Kritika says that even Prita could have done this, as Prita is now also a mastermind, and Prita could have thought of getting herself arrested for fake, after which she decided to come back and also spoil the party. Karan says that he feels that Kritika knows the truth, so Kritika should not talk like this. Karan lives in anger, and Kritika says that she is also supporting her husband, so she knows that Prithvi cannot do anything like this. Kritika wonders why is she taking the side of Prithvi. Karina is in the room with grandma and she explains that she could not believe what she saw today, that Raki was hugging that maid Janki. She did not know what to do so she came here and she is wondering what a great game that Prita has played because Prita came to their house first as a physiotherapist and she took over the entire business and Prita came back one day claiming the ownership of the entire house and their business. Samur coming to the room says that Karina is right since this could have been of Karan but Karan was not able to protect this property and their business, and for him, it is better that Prita is the owner of the property. Otherwise, Prithvi would have treated them with immense hatred. Samuel asks Karina to open her eyes that Prita has done the right thing. Karina explains that she feels that whenever Prita comes back to the house, then Samuel always starts talking what Prita wants, and Karina asks if Shriti told Samuel to talk in this manner. Samuel explains that he is grown up, so he knows what he has to say, and he is still asking Karina to see the truth, as they are in a better position if Prita is the owner of the house. Then Samuel leaves, and Karina turns, asking Grandma to see how Samuel behaves with her. Grandma says that Samuel is not wrong, but his way of talking is wrong, so Karina should complain about him to Karan, and Karan should scold him, so Karina agrees to what Grandma is saying. Sherlin is wondering where can they find Prithvi. The worker comes there informing Sherlin that the snake handler has arrived. Natasha asks that what is Prithvi doing? Sherlin replies that she asked Prithvi the same question and Prithvi informed her that there is no sign of Rishab Lutra in the business world and he wants to prove that Mahesh Lutra is mentally unstable. So they will show Snake to Mahesh and then Mahesh will be disgraced and then there will be only the son-in-law of the Lutra family to handle the business and that will be Prithvi Mahotra. Sherlin says that Prithvi told her that Mahesh will come running to the party while screaming Snake and she knows that the big investors are coming to the party as then Maya should be the only one to see the snake but not the investors. So then all the investors will not invest in the Lutra Empire but rather they would invest in Prithvi's company and after this party then Prithvi will be a business tycoon. Sherlin says that she asked Prithvi that what was the need to show Mahesh the real snake but Prithvi insisted that they should only call the real snake as he doesn't want to take any risk because if Mahesh suspected any ill doing, then his plan would fail and he cannot allow it to happen. Then the flashback ends. Natasha says that the plan is really good, but both Rishab and Prithvi are not in the house, so she asks if they have forgotten the way to the house. Sherlin says that Prithvi was not able to get the deal, but she would also not allow Prita to get it, since she said that Mahesh is resting in his room, but when Mahesh should come running to the party, then Prita's reputation will be ruined. Sherlin, seeing the snake handler, asks Mona to take him to the room of Mahesh Lutra. Natasha thinks that she is going to make a video, and Sherlin says that no one can ruin the plan of Prithvi. 
the MLA is with Mr. Nanavre, and the MLA says that he has never heard about Preta before. Mr. Nanavre replies that either way, Preta has made sure that he wins the elections. The MLA replies that he also needs to discuss another matter, as there is a land of which it can also be developed with the township project, but he wants to talk with Preta about it now, before Preta goes on the stage, so then he can announce it at the party. Mr. Nanavre asks Amro to call Preta, since they need to discuss some matters. Janky hears Shelin living with Natasha talking about where is Pritfi. She sees them, so she thinks that she cannot let them ruin the plans of Preta, and she would have to keep an eye on Pritfi. Janky is standing and Preta enters the bathroom. She wonders if she can leave now, but she decides to stay since she cannot let Preta fight Shelin and Natasha alone. She is standing and Samuel comes there asking that where is Preta. Janky informs Samuel that Preta is in the bathroom and Samuel asks Janky to send Preta downstairs since Nanavre is waiting for her. Janky asks that who is Nanavre. Samuel informs Janky that he is the investor of this project. Preta comes out of the bathroom. Samuel asks Preta to come as Mr. Nanavre wants to discuss some important things with her and they both leave. Janky while working thinks that she can call Salah as it has gotten really late so she would be really angry. Janky hears some people talking. She thinks that Preta advised them to keep their eyes and ears open and she needs to see who is talking. Natasha tells Sherlyn that Sherlyn and Pritfi always act as if they are really clever but in reality they are nothing. Natasha says that Pritfi for long has been trying to control this house but Preta within a short period of time ruined Pritfi's dreams and Pritfi has even disappeared now. Sherlyn wants Natasha to watch what she is saying. Natasha replies that she is a living human being and she is not a robot who will listen and accept every desires of Sherlyn. Sherlyn threatens Natasha not to forget where she came from. Natasha replies that she has not, but she would only give Sherlyn respect if Sherlyn talked nicely with her. Natasha wants Sherlyn not to ruin her mind and mood because if she gets angry, then she will reveal each and every detail which will ruin Sherlyn's plan. Sherlyn asks Natasha to watch her mouth and Natasha replies that both of them are sitting on the same side. Sherlyn says that she needs to make Natasha realize where she found her from. Natasha replies that Sherlyn should not talk about her because Sherlyn herself came to seek for her help. Sherlyn stopping Natasha's mouth shows that someone is hearing them and both Natasha and Sherlyn walks out pretending to talk normally. Sherlyn sees Janky and asks that what is Janky doing. She asks if Janky was listening to their conversation. Janky tries to leave, saying that it is nothing like that, but Sherlyn plans to make Janky fall, and Janky threatens Sherlyn, saying that if Sherlyn tries to make her fall again, then she will not only break her legs, but she would even break her face. Karan is working and he sees Preta, so he asks that what is going on. Preta replies that there is nothing to be worried about, but Karan says that when he came back home, Raki informed him that Preta got arrested, but when he reached the police station, the police says that they did not arrest Preta. Karan says that the inspector even suspected him, but when he took the name of Nagre, then they felt as if he was involved, so he brought them to the party. Since the inspector knew that Nagre has been invited to the party of Pritfi, but after reaching the house, he was shocked to see Nagre was favoring Preta. Preta replies that it is a good thing. Karan asks that what is going on between Preta and Nagre. Preta recalls the entire incident when she was about to be killed, but she managed to escape. But Preta refused to reveal the truth to Karan, assuring Karan that nothing has happened. Preta tries to change the topic, but Karan still demands for the truth, and Preta replies that she has told Karan that she is really busy, so she needs to go. Karan says that Preta has changed a lot, and he doesn't understand what is Preta becoming. Karan asks that how did Preta get so good in the business, because he doesn't understand what is going on. Preta says that Karan should stop thinking if he cannot understand because she knows that there is a lot of important people that she needs to attend to and Preta tries to leave but Karan asks that what has gotten into Preta because he got really scared thinking that what might have happened to Preta but Preta doesn't even know how fast he came back to the house so that he could see if Preta is fine and it is not that he is a one-sided lover. Preta is not able to understand what Karan meant and Preta asks that what is Karan saying because she informed him that she is busy and Karan is just standing here talking like this with her and does Karan not know how much her business is being armed and she asks Karan to step away. Karan lives in anger. Preta apologizes within herself and says that she had to talk like this with Karan 
but she is really glad to see that Karan still cares for her so much and Karan looked for her when she was not present in the house and she is really glad that Karan still cares for her. Prita leaves after wiping off her tears. Shailene wants Janki to behave with her nicely because she is the daughter-in-law of this house. Janki replies that she was going but Shailene stopped her and she is now threatening her. Janki says that Shailene said that she is threatening her. Janki accepts, turning to Natasha, also asks if she understands it all. Janki says that Natasha and Shailene's character both seem to be the same and so they must always remember a threat, otherwise she will do to them what they will not be able to forget. Natasha in anger wants Janki not to threaten her as she doesn't accept them and Janki should only threaten Shailene. Janki says that she has no interest in threatening anyone but she can find out the truth by just looking at someone's face and she has understood that Natasha has a black heart and a mind filled with wrongdoings. So she should accept the warning because Janki is not an evil person but if they force her then she can also ruin them both. Natasha asks that what sort of films does Janki watch because she is just delivering the dialogues. Janki informs them that she has seen a lot of movies but there is one movie which she watched a lot of times in which there is someone who is ruining the family like a sword by being with them and the person's name is Shailene. Shailene in shock wants Janki not to say such things to her. Janki replies that she knows Shailene since Shailene wronged Prita two years ago for a crime that Prita never committed and she stopped because Prita stopped her from coming. Shailene says that Janki is crossing her limit. Janki informs Shailene that she is the protector of Prita and if they mess with Prita this time, then she would also unleash the anger that has been eating in her for the past two years. Janki warns them both not to do anything wrong with Prita, otherwise they will be killed by her aunt this time. Shailene is worried. Natasha requests Shailene to stop the threat to Janki as they need to find Pritfi because Pritfi is nowhere in the house. Shailene enters the room with Natasha and Natasha says that Shruti is now her enemy. Shailene replies that Shruti is the biggest torture of her life right now. Natasha says that she felt as if Shailene is a lioness but her words do not portray her as a lioness. Natasha asks that why are they not able to do anything for those two sisters. Natasha says that first, Prita came and took control of the business and now Prita's younger sister has also come to ruin their lives. Shailene says that she is saying the truth. Natasha says that Shailene has been telling the truth since long but Prita after coming to the family has took ownership of the house and she even took her post. Shailene advised Natasha to forget the post since now Prita has returned to their house. Natasha says that she was promised a pay for her work. Shailene replies that what payment when Natasha was not able to complete the work. The door of the wardrobe opens. Natasha sees Pritfi in the cupboard. Shailene immediately pulls him out asking Natasha to bring a glass of water. Pritfi requests Shailene to open the tie and drinking the glass of water, he is restless. Shailene asks if Pritfi is fine. Pritfi asks that how did he come here. Shailene says that so Pritfi doesn't really know how he came here and she informs him that Prita came back into the house and she is alive and Prita even took Pritfi's contract under the Lutra Industries after which Shruti made Pritfi get unconscious. Shailene reveals the entire truth to Pritfi. Pritfi in anger says that they have gotten so brave to mess with him. Pritfi says that he will take revenge from them, that Prita's life will be ruined. Shailene asks that what is Pritfi doing and what will he do? Pritfi replies that he will just make a single blow that will ruin Prita's life and Shailene leaves after Pritfi. Natasha says to herself that how can Shailene says that she will not pay her after bringing her to the Lutra house for a purpose and if she did not receive her payment then she would lose her dream of opening a dance school. Natasha says that they will now see what Natasha is truly capable of doing. Janki in the party is searching for Prita and Shruti is wondering that where have they gone. She suddenly bumps into Kritika and they do not know who they have eat. Kritika apologizes to Janki and she asks that how is she. Janki says that she is fine but she is not able to find Prita or Shruti. Kritika informs her that they will be in the house and they both are talking and Janki says that she feels bad with what happened with Kritika because Kritika got married to Pritfi. Kritika asks that what is to worry about when she is happy with her married life. Janki tries to explain that Kritika is facing problem because of getting married to a dishonest person. Kritika asks that who said that she is not happy because Pritfi has never hurt or armed her and even after Pritfi become the owner of everything, 
then he has never thrown them out of the house. Critica says that Britfi is fulfilling both the roles to protect their family. However, her family is not able to accept Britfi because of his past mistakes, but she is able to see the truth in Britfi's eyes, even when her family cannot see it. Critica says that everyone thinks that Britfi tricked Mahesh into signing the ownership when she believes that Mahesh was able to see it a long time ago and he signed it willingly. But the one who is greedy is just Prita because Prita tricked everyone into signing the property and Prita treated them like a servant and Prita is a really clever person. Janki wants Kritika not to say anything against Prita but Kritika says that Prita is fake and a pretender. Hearing this, Janki is left shocked and Kritika says that she doesn't want to say anything against Prita because she doesn't want to ruin her tongue. Kritika leaves while Janki is worried. Janki walking in the hall wonders what is going on in this house because there is always a fight in this house. Before, there was only Sherlin, but now even her sister Natasha and she believes that Sherlin is still meeting with Pritfi and she thinks of telling Prita. Prita walks into the hall and Janki going to her asks her to believe what she is saying as it is her experience and she believes that Sherlin is still with Pritfi. Prita thinks that Sherlin is the elder daughter-in-law of the Lutra family but in reality, Sherlin can arm anyone. Janki explains that Sherlin is the same person who blamed Prita and threw her out of the house. Prita assures Janki that she has changed and she will no longer forgive a person and give them a second chance like she did two years ago. But this time, she believes that the person who has made a mistake would have to be punished for their crimes and she would definitely punish Sherlin and Pritfi. Okay, I'm actually loving this new Prita, but that Kritika is still as foolish as she was before. Imagine that this girl is still thinking that Pritfi is right, while Prita is wrong, despite everything that Pritfi has done to her personally and to the family. Anyways, thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys!